I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz is a pretty straightforward song. It's got a lot of different um, parts. It's got an intro and a verse, a chorus, a transition, and a bridge. But they're all sort of um, manageable parts. They move fairly slowly. So if you're patient, you can definitely get it. So the intro and the verse sounds like this. Sort of like this. So I'm going to play this little loop three times. One, two, three. And you're going to move into something else right here. Sort of like that, all right? So the key there, the, the key thing to remember is that the, the intro is played on the, on the guitar and I'm using my ears to sort of give you an arrangement that I think will work on the piano, all right? So we need there first are just the chords, which is an E sus4 to start out with. So an E, a B, and an E in your left hand, an A, a B, and an E in your right hand. And if you want to play the little melody part, with my thumb I'm just playing E, 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 F sharp, G sharp, and then I go into my chords. Okay, those three notes. So the first chord, E sus4. E sus4 is almost always resolved to E's. Not, not always, but often turn into that chord, okay? So you've got E sus4 first, and then the second chord is in just a regular E. So to get there, you just move this A down a half step to a, a G sharp. So in your left hand, E, B, and E, G sharp, B, and E in your right hand, okay? So those two chords that you played there, you just play those three times. three for this one. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. And you play it again. Two, three, two, two, three. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so then you're gonna move to a B sus4. B in your left hand, or B's if you prefer. F sharp, B, and E. Now remember what I said about sus4 is they often resolve to just the regular. So B sus4 is going to turn into a B, and to get to a B, you just move this pinky, this plane, and E down to an E flat, or a uh, D sharp, rather. Okay? So all together, I'll put the chords again. E sus4, E, 3. E sus4, E, 3. E sus4, E, and then here we're going to move to a B sus4. Sus4 to regular B. Okay, so that's your intro and your verse loop. Sometimes you're going to play through that loop just once, sometimes you're going to play through it twice or more if you include the intro. You have to listen to the original and uh, pay attention to how many times it's played through before it moves on to the next part. Okay, so the other part I need to show you, or another part I need to show you, is the chorus. And the chorus sounds like this. sort of like a country, got a country sort of a feel, um, you can sort of play around with these fours and the twos. I'll show you that at the end if you're interested, if I remember. <laughs> so the chords you need to know that for the chorus is just an A, so A's in your left hand, E, A, C sharp, another E if you can reach it in your right hand, so A, then you're going to move to an E, so E, B, and E in your left hand, G sharp, B and E in your right hand. Then you're going to move to a C sharp minor. So C sharp, G sharp, C sharp in your left hand. E, G sharp, C sharp, another E if you can reach it in your right hand. And then to a B. So B's in your left hand, F sharp, B, and uh, D sharp in your right hand. The arrangement I'm giving you here is meant is set up so that your wrist, your right wrist, doesn't move a lot when you're switching between chords. That'll help you be more accurate. Okay, so that's the first half of the chorus, that A E C sharp minor B. The second half of the chorus is similar, except the third chord is different. So the second half looks like this: A, A is in your left hand, E A C sharp, and E in your right hand. To an E, so E B and E in your left hand. G sharp, B, and E in your right hand. 
you remember that chord already. And then you're going to move to a B sus4, just like in the first, in the uh, intro and the verse part I showed you. B's in your left hand, F sharp, B, and E in your right hand. And then resolves to a B, as sus4s oft, often do. <laughs> so B's in your left hand, F sharp, B, and D sharp. Okay? So that's the chorus block right there, all right? After um, one of the chorus blocks, there's this little transition where it just plays an A. And he sings, no, I won't give up. No, I won't give up. I don't really know how he sings it. I kind of forget. But it's the part where he sings, no, I won't give up. And then it's going to jump right into a bridge. And the bridge sounds like this. Uh, and this is the part where he's singing sort of like, na 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 Sort of like back and forth like that. So that part is really uh, actually pretty fun to play. I'm playing an F sharp minor seven. So F sharp, C sharp, F sharp in my left hand, A, C sharp, and E in my right hand. So one, two, three, two, two, three, oh, one, two, 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 two. Okay, after a while you're gonna switch to a B7, right? So that's B's in your left hand. And with my thumb I'm playing an A and a B. And with my three I'm playing a D sharp. And with my pinky I'm playing an F sharp. Okay? Those, those two chords you're just going to repeat again for the next part. Don't worry about that little transition, I'll show you that later. B7, so you do that twice. Okay, now the bridge is going to sort of modulate. Not really modulate, it's just going to change chords to a D. So D, A, and D in your left hand. F sharp, A, D in your right hand. sharp diminished, so that's D sharps in your left hand, F sharp and A in your right hand. Three, one, two, three. Back to that D. D's in your left hand, F sharp, A, and D in your right hand. Quickly back to that D sharp minor. D sharps, F sharp, and A in your right hand. Talking about himself somewhere there, I forget exactly. Then it's an E. So that bridge ends on an E chord. E, B, and E in your left hand. G sharp, B, and E in your right hand. Okay, and right from there, it's just gonna jump right into those choruses. Which is just A, E, C sharp, minor, B, and you know, that whole block that I told you. The end sort of loops through a bunch of choruses, and now I have a little bit of time. So that's the whole song. If you're happy and you can go and play the song, you, great, congratulations, go, go uh, have some fun. If you wanna learn a couple of tricks to dress it up a little bit, uh, for this type of a song, a little bit meandering, a little bit country feel with the guitars in there, I recommend throwing in the twos and the fours of the scale. If you know what that means, so for instance, on this E chord, like the second chord in the chorus block, um, if you were to play an E major scale, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, five. So you notice that this is the second note I played and this is the fourth note I played. So if we throw those notes in while we're playing our uh, chord, listen to how it sounds. So I'm gonna start with that A chord. Now here's our E. So I throw that two in before I get to that three. Or the four. So you can sort of mess around with it. How exactly you play that those chords? Try adding in the twos and threes. So those little tri uh, tips should help you out. I hope. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.